Newcastle United won, Manchester United won. Oh boy, I need to put on my glasses for this. Goals from Alan St. Maximin and Edison Cavani in the second half, equalising for United. Gave us the game that we saw, we all saw. And me and Cappy are here to speak about it today. And as you can see, I'm not happy with it at all. I'm not happy with it at all. And I think we it almost built. The, the anticipation built because we hadn't seen United in so long so we were waiting and hoping to see a good product we've heard all of the comments of them working in the midweek intense training all that stuff just to see that and the first thing I'm gonna say is after the Crystal Palace game everything has regressed Trust the organization that we saw especially in the first 30 minutes of that Crystal Palace game evaporated. Norwich was a poor performance and I had to come home and watch that on another day because I had work on that day. So I had to come home on and watch it the whole 90 minutes another day. It was a poor watch, poor organization, uh, formation wise. The energy or and the press is just regressed, Cappy. And it's incredible because in the first game, these guys, boom, boom, boom. It's like they had a 30 minute managerial bounce. I don't understand how that happens because in the game since, and even more in the Newcastle game, we're a team that's supposed to be high energy, pressing. There was no press. No, it's no, back no. to half-hearted FC pressing, and that is not good enough. Second point. I'm gonna touch on is the accuracy of the passing it was like usually usually we speak about the poor passing of our midfield players etc and today it was on another level i saw a video just before starting shooting this we both saw it of a video of ronaldo constantly making forward runs and not getting the ball passed to him at all it's either they didn't pass to him because they didn't see him they didn't have the initiative and the IQ to look up and say there's a forward runner ping they didn't do that or they just didn't have the ability to play the ball into Cristiano Ronaldo I'm telling you he has a good goal scoring record this season and people have spoke about him being a problem all of that good stuff but if he was fed he would score double the amount he would have scored double the amount of goals that he has already this season and that's a fact in my opinion that game alone just shows how many runs he makes throughout and how many times the midfield just fails to react to those forward runs you know uh, it, it bewilders me it cap it bewilders me that every single game it's almost like we go over the same things and we're under new management now. We got Ralph Rangnick. We got, you know, his coaching staff. And it's still the same old thing. And I think one thing I did say to you, Cappy, and you guys, big up the community and all them things there. Make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. Is that this is going to take a lot longer than we think to rebuild. Not just the physicality of this squad, which is something Ralph Rangnick always refers to, but also the mentality of these players it needs to be changed and that is not an overnight thing so we're gonna be seeing a lot more of these performances and that it, it saddens me a bit you know, because it almost shows how much as a club we have fallen it shows how much we have fallen to the point where it's going to take quite a while and we have to just forget about all of the ambitions of this season to hopefully see a better product in the future. Considering we've gone through how many different rebuilds time and time and time again. It's almost like I've lost faith because it's like, all right, cool, this is a rebuild, but it isn't guaranteed to work. Who knows? Everything could go downhill under Ralph Rangnick and it may not work out. Where do we go from there? Where do we go from here? All we can do is hope and pray that something changes. 
No, right now, the players are struggling to do the simple things right. And if you can't do the simple basics in football, like pass a five-yard ball, press, show energy, show some passion, show some desire to win a football match, you're 1-0 down and you still have the same energy. Even coming out at half-time, it's the same old lackadaisical energy. Where is your desire? Where is your pride as a football player to win? You're at Manchester United Football Club and you don't want to show passion, desire, energy for the badge. You don't want even for yourself to try and rectify this situation. Trust me, there's something psychologically just damaged about this squad as a whole. I mean, my last big up is to David De Gea because that's probably the only player I feel sorry for this season. He's man in a match yesterday and he's already secured player of the year. So forget about all of that. Forget the award ceremony. Just give him it now. Give him the award now because he's been peppered. I think, what was the stat? <clears throat> he had out of the eight saves he could have made, he made seven, conceded one and made seven saves. And that save from Almiron at the end, absolutely crucial because Newcastle deserved to win that game. That is the harsh truth. We shouldn't have got back into the game. It was a lucky. It was lucky. All out of luck. And is this how Manchester United... You know, I don't mind. Because, you know, changing the playing style, all that thing is a difficult thing. As long as we get the results, we should be fine. But what we're seeing is even worse. Because if we can't manage to get the results either, this top four battle is going to be a lot more difficult than we once originally thought. What else can I do but start off by saying that the mentality of this squad is poor. I think we had Ralph Rangnick saying that this performance wasn't good enough. And then I don't I what we, me and and CM don't want to do is then drag out players. But I'm only using this as an example because it reflects how this squad almost the energy that they show as a collective. Harry Maguire comes out and he makes you know a few excuses referring to the, you know the breaks they've had, not being able to train for that long, obviously being off as everybody was isolating, Carrington being closed. And you understand that. You do understand that. But I think CM said something valid to me the other day and he said I don't want to be hearing these excuses because this week so many coaches have been speaking about the fixture congestion in this period and the periods ahead and now we're speaking about a lack of being able to play a lack of being able to train and that is a real problem to me because I understand there are setbacks there are things you have to face but you have to adapt to that you have to show that these things do not affect players of your quality. Exactly. Manchester City still won their game. Chelsea won their game. Liverpool will still perform. Manchester United, we're supposed to be on that level. And obviously, we're not on that level of those three teams. But for you, we, we should, first and foremost, we should have the ambitions of being there. And for me, Time and time again, our leadership, or, you know, leadership, comes out and shows us that we are far away from being there. And it's sad to see. It really is sad to see. Because, you know, I see all these posts. Everybody looking happy in training. Everybody doing well. Ready for the game. Ready for the next game. And then we get into the game and it looks like they're not ready. All of a sudden, they're not smiling anymore. It's a mentality thing. When you step into a, a, a dungeon of adversity filled around you, everything is stacked against you. How are you going to respond? Are you going to jump up and fight them back? Or are you just going to sit down and let them punch, 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 punch? First knockout, second knockout, third knockout, fourth knockout. Throw the towel in, 
fight over? Or are you gonna fight back? Are you gonna throw some jabs? Are you gonna throw a knockout punch right under the chin and win the game? Because that's what you should be doing. But at the moment, Manchester United are not doing that. They're far from doing that. And that is the reason that we will not be successful because our leadership, the people chosen to be in leadership in Manchester United are not leaders. They will not lead us to trophies on the pitch. There are only a handful of players that you can say based of experience. Yeah, they can help. But when our true leaders are also losing their heads, that doesn't help either. No. You know, body language all over the place. We depend on some of our senior players to show the young players how to act, how to perform, how to, to show the public that they mean business, how to be a responsible and professional star in the public eye, how to perform game in, game out on the football pitch. And we're not seeing that. I'm seeing guys like, once again, Bruno or Ronaldo were mentioned, but it's way more than just Bruno or Ronaldo. It's everybody has a collective. Our senior players are getting overly frustrated and that ruins their game. And then the young players that look up to them and say, wow, if they're acting like this, then surely I have an excuse to do it too. And it's just not good enough from top to bottom. It's not good enough. I mean, look, yesterday we had a poor start. They say, you know, start as you mean to go on or start as you mean to finish, either <laughs> one. And some of the players have been given the benefit of the doubt to perform time and time again. They were Too given long. the benefit of the doubt. And I think what we will start to see over time is that some of these players will fade. You know, there was a show I used to watch on METV. Me and CM used to watch it called When the Floodlights Fade. That one, man. And some of these guys will fade quickly if they don't pattern up. Because the attitude is not right. And if Ralph Rangnick, I will say this again, if Ralph Rangnick is the man he says he is, has the intentions that he does, some of these players will be surplus to requirements maybe not by the summer maybe it's too quick but definitely by some point next season if Ralph Rangnick is really going to be here for the long term there will be players that even will shock you even will shock you I'm telling you oh man everything we did against Newcastle was slow and predictable which goes against everything in Ralph Rangnick's system. Fact. There was a lack of forward movement. Now, CM did mention the video about Ronaldo, mm -hmm. so fair to him. I saw that video too, and I saw the forward movement. But what I mean is, players dragging others out of position to create space for other people to run into. You know, when there's a low block, you need dyn dynamic movement, all of that kind of stuff. One guy moving over there to bring his defender so another guy can slide through that space and then another de defender will occupy that guy and then another space will open up. We don't see that at all from Manchester United's forwards. It's just everybody standing in their position and being static, asking for the ball, doing nothing with it and then passing it backwards. Lampost settings. <laughs> no, Rangnick, he has a lot to think about. With Burnley only a few days later. On Thursday, people, let's not forget. It's a quick, quick, quick fixture turnaround. He has a lot to think about. <laughs> and I can only sit here and think that he has been stitched with the level of team mentality that we have. He needs to fix that. He needs to change the system and somehow get these guys into the right state of mind to be winning games. It's gonna be a long It's a journey. massive job. Hopefully he's up to par to it. But how do we know? All we can do is sit back and hope that things improve over time. But right now, especially with that top four race, like CM said, it looks bleak. 
drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new let us know what you think of Manchester United's top four chances come the end of the season where will we finish and will we win any trophies let us know in the comments below shout out to all of you giving us the support that's why we keep on coming back stronger until the next time Burnley I'll see you lots in a bit Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rate you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.